Yovalim Jubilees 12. And it came to pass in the sixth week, in the seventh year thereof, that Avram said to Tarak, his father, saying, Father, and he said, Behold, here am I, my son. And he said, What help and profit have we from those idols which you do worship and before which you do bow yourself? For there is no ruach in them, for they are dumb forms and a misleading of the heart. Worship them not. Worship the Elohim of heaven, who causes the rain and the dew to descend on the earth and does everything upon the earth and has created everything by his word and all life is from before his face. Why do ye worship things that have no ruach in them? For they are the work of men's hands and on your shoulders do ye bear them and ye have no help from them but they are a great cause of shame to those who make them and a misleading of the heart to those who worship them. Worship them not. And his father said unto him, I also know it, my son, but what shall I do with a people who have made me to serve before them? And if I tell them the truth, they will slay me, for their soul cleaves to them to worship them and honor them. Keep silent, my son, lest they slay you. And these words he spoke to his two brothers, and they were angry with him, and he kept silent. And in the fortieth jubilee, in the second week, in the seventh year thereof, Avram took to himself a woman, and her name was Sarai, the daughter of his father, and she became his woman. And Haran, his brother, took to himself a woman, in the third year of the third week. And she bore him a son in the seventh year of this week, and he called his name Lot. And Nehor, his brother, took to himself a woman, and in the sixtieth year of the life of Avram, that is, in the fourth week, in the fourth year thereof, Avram arose by night and burned the house of the idols. And he burned all that was in the house, and no man knew it. And they arose in the night and sought to save their Elohim from the midst of the fire. And Haran hasted to save them, but the fire flamed over him, and he was burnt in the fire. And he died in Ur of the Kazdim, before Tarak his father, and they buried him in Ur of the Kazdim. And Tarak went forth from Ur of the Kazdim, he and his sons, to go into the land of Lebanon and into the land of Canaan. And he dwelt in the land of Haran, and Avram dwelt with Tarak his father in Haran two weeks of years. And in the sixth week, in the fifth year thereof, Avram sat up throughout the night on the new moon of the seventh month to observe the stars from the evening to the morning in order to see what would be the character of the year with regard to the rains. And he was alone as he sat and observed. And a word came into his heart, and he said, all the signs of the stars and the signs of the moon and of the sun are all in the hand of Yahuwah. Why do I search them out? If he desires, he causes it to rain, morning and evening, and if he desires, he withholds it, and all things are in his hand. And he prayed that night and said, My Elohim, El Elyon, you alone are my Elohim, and you and your dominion have I chosen. And you have created all things, and all things that are the work of your hands. Deliver me from the hands of evil Ruachat, 
who have dominion over the thoughts of men's hearts, and let them not lead me astray from you, my Elohim. And establish me and my seed forever, that we go not astray from henceforth and forevermore. And he said, Shall I return unto Ur of the Kazdim, who seek my face, that I may return to them? Am I to remain here in this place? The right path before you prosper it in the hands of your servant, that he may fulfill it, and that I may not walk in the deceitfulness of my heart, O my Elohim. And he made an end of speaking and praying. And behold, the word of Yahuwah was sent to him through me, saying, Get you up from your country and from your kindred and from the house of your father unto a land which I will show you. And I shall make you a great and numerous nation. And I will bless you and I will make your name great. And you shall be blessed in the earth. And in you shall all families of the earth be blessed. And I will bless them that bless you, and curse them that curse you. And I will be an Elohim to you and your son, and to your son's son, and to all your seed. Fear not. From henceforth and unto all generations of the earth, I am your Elohim. And Yahuwah Elohim said, Open his mouth and his ears, that he may hear and speak with his mouth, with the language which has been revealed. For it had ceased from the mouths of all the children of men from the day of the overthrow of Babel. And I opened his mouth and his ears and his lips. And I began to speak with him in Ivrit, in the tongue of the creation. And he took the seraphim of his fathers, and these were written in Ivrit, and he transcribed them, and he began from henceforth to study them. And I made known to him that which he could not understand. And he studied them during the six rainy months. And it came to pass in the seventh year of the sixth week that he spoke to his father and informed him that he would leave Haran to go into the land of Canaan to see it and return to him. And Tarak, his father, said unto him, Go in peace. May the eternal Elohim make your path straight. And Yahuwah be with you and protect you from all evil and grant unto you grace, mercy, and favor before those who see you. And may none of the children of men have power over you to harm you. Go in peace. And if you see a land pleasant to your eyes to dwell in, then arise and take me to you and take Lot with you, the son of Haran, your brother as your own son. Yahuwah be with you. And Nacor, your brother, leave with me till you return in peace, and we go with you all together.